couple of the places Dr. Seuss will go or maybe won't go after cancel culture takes a big bite out of his uh, legacy. Online retailer eBay is now telling the Wall Street Journal that they are currently removing the six books that were pulled by the Dr. Seuss Enterprises to prevent future resale. Children's books are now dominating. Amazon's bestseller list flying up the list. Nine of the top ten are all by Dr. Seuss, so you see how that works. Joining me now is Dr. Ben Carson, the former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and founder and chairman of the American Cornerstone Institute. Dr. Carson, always good to see you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Martha. So I, I understand that you me. want to e express your feelings on this in poetry, and I invite you to do so with your poem that you wrote about this now. Well, very good. I do not like to cancel books. I do not like how that looks. I do not like it here nor there. I do not like it anywhere. I do not like it in the store. I do not want it anymore. I do think it's time past no longer to have thought a crime. I do hope one day to see across my country, tis of thee, books used to read and learn instead of set ablaze to burn. Our heritage for all to share, little patriots everywhere. Our nation's rich, story rich and vast, our true history taught in class. A special place for all to be, a place known for its liberty. You know, those are the kinds of things that Dr. Seuss did. He encouraged people, he made people believe that everybody was equal. And, uh, you know, we, it's appropriate that we're talking about children's books because as a society, we're acting like children, mm. like a child who's in charge who doesn't like peas. So he says, let's ban peas. Anybody eating peas or growing peas shall be killed. You know, that's childish thinking. That's what we're doing right now, and it's absolutely absurd. And I think the rest of the world is having a good belly laugh. Yeah. And it's time for us to mature, to grow up, to recognize, you know, America was the beacon of liberty. It was the place where people came so that they could express themselves, so they could believe what they wanted to believe, so they could have religious freedoms. It was a place where we believed that our liberties and freedoms came from God and not from government. And, yeah. uh, you know, the socialists believe that everything comes from government. We can't abide it. You know, I think when you look back at books being banned, you'll find that in throughout history, you don't want to be on the side of the folks that were doing that. <laughs> it didn't really turn out very well in most cases. I remember when, you know, the discussion was To Kill a Mockingbird and, uh, and classics, which should always be taught in, in the context of the time in which they were, they were written and, and published. Um, you know, it, I was actually heartened to see that the New York Public Library says that they're going to keep all of their Dr. Seuss books in publication and in circulation, I should that say, um, at the library. That was encouraging. Um, but, I, but the fact that that, yes. that that encourages us, you know, just says something about where, where we are right now. And I agree with you that other countries must look at this. And I know Europe's yeah. looking at this and saying, well, whoa, too far, folks. Well, I hope Relax. I hope people will stop thinking about this as a political issue. It's not a political issue. Yeah. This is about freedom in America, and that's what we're dealing with right now. We will determine what happens to our children and our grandchildren. Will they have a country where they can grow up and, and be free, and where they can live up to their potential, or will they have somebody trying to control every aspect of their life, including what they can say yeah. and what they cannot say? This is poison in our system. Yeah, it takes people pushing back and standing up. Uh, the president could have done that the other day. You know what, we're gonna keep Dr. Seuss around. You know, you should teach it in, in context or say anything as a parent that you wanna say when you read any of these books, but um, give people the freedom to do so. Dr. Carson, thank you. Thanks yeah. for the poem. Thank you for being here. All right. If thank you write you, another Michael. one, let us know. Right. Come back. <laughs>